a big teeth you have. Oh, what a wimp that girl was. <laughs> Yuck, what is that? Tea, I could use a cup. <laughs> oh, this souvenir scrapbook is full of sniveling wits. Ah, someone decent at last. What a man, Captain Hook. Always ready with a helping hand. <laughs> Look what a fabulous witcherly character your auntie was then. Yes, she certainly was on fire. To think I'm now here in this miserable real world. Witches were burned at the stake a mere 400 years ago. Well, look at the bright side. Here on Earth, we turn them into TV show heroines. <laughs> Get a load of his highness. <laughs> the air conditioning with your wand again. It's easy to do it without magic. How do you expect me to remember all those buttons? <laughs> your wand! Ah! Watch out! <laughs> Conjured up Jack's beanstalk. Get him out of here! Fast! The neighbors will see him! How nice to see you, Mr. Giant! Pass on my greetings to darling Olga! Uh, a meteorite! Pulverized into a million pieces on landing! Mommy! Tom, can you tell us how Napoleon's career began? Um, Napoleon? Oh, oh, me, 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 me. Didn't he uh, stow away on a ship and become the greatest pirate ever? <laughs> <laughs> Maureen? His first real opportunity came as captain of artillery at the Siege of Toulon, where he held back the British under ferocious fire. <laughs> can make us laugh, Tom, but if you want to make it through to the next semester, I suggest you do some very serious work on your Napoleon report. <sighs> Napoleon lost the Battle of Waterpole. Oh no, Waterloo. <sighs> How can I ever remember such complicated names? Why not just cheat instead of overtaxing your brain like a swat? What are you trying to do? Make me ashamed of you? Ferocia? How could you suggest such a thing? Tom will succeed in life thanks to hard work and a marvelous attitude. Oh, yeah? Who asked for your opinion, big fella? Can you guys go and fight somewhere else? If I get a bad mark on this, my class average will be worse than Waterloo. You're still on the internet? I'm supposed to be online in 10 minutes with my girlfriends. You are so lucky to be an only child. Blah, 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 blah. Tom, I've been waiting for ages. We were supposed to play badminton, remember? Listen, I don't have time for this. If I don't get this project done, I am in big trouble. Why will you be in trouble, Tommy? Because I can't do any of this real-world school stuff. I'm useless. I'm the worst in the class. I don't believe that for a minute, darling. You're so clever. Oh, look at you moving all those things around by magic. It's not magic, Mom. It's technology. See, this is how you copy a document into the hard disk. Into the computer's brain. Put it that way. That fast? <gasps> That's amazing. Hmm. Well, then... Oh, nothing, sweetie. We're having fish for dinner. Excellent for your memory. Wait and see.
was escorted by 25 carriages, 152 horses, and two Pekingese dogs, a personal gift from the Emperor of China. The Ganges, of course, flowing into the sea at the Bay of Bengal. Oh, such knowledge of the Far East. Well, strictly speaking, Miss Tinker, India isn't in the Far East. It would be regarded as the Indian subcontinent. That was... Incredible! That's all I can say. Well, I did study really hard, and I ate fish yesterday. That must be it. Check to your king. You're not gonna let that pipsqueak beat you. Same mistake as Caspera Joy during the World Championships in 1962. Our champion's getting ripped by a seventh grader. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Tom, come and see me after class. We need to talk. So now Miss Tinker thinks I'm highly gifted because of my incredible memory. She wants an urgent meeting with you and Dad. She even wants to put me in a special school. That's marvelous, darling. Just what you deserve. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. It doesn't? Imposter! It was you, Mom, wasn't it? Oh, no! Do you know what you've done? I'm so pleased, darling, that you like your little gift. Well, son, how did your report go? Uh, well... Let's just say that, that, um... Top of the class. Do you realize what that means? He's the champion. He stole the show. Well done, kiddo. See? Hard work pays. Oh, you've made your dad very proud indeed. You didn't cheat, did you? No. Um, well, not really. Mom? Oh, come, come, Gregor. What will you dream up next? He's my little boy. What's wrong with giving him little treats now and then? Our son cannot go through life cheating, and this is cheating. Well, technically, if I already know all this stuff, then I'll never need to really cheat again. He has a point, darling. Willow. Oh, all right. Except for those syntax chapters. He had such problems with grammar, I... Oh. Okay, okay. You can be such a sticker for rules sometimes. Now, close your eyes and relax. What's wrong, my darling dragonfly? <laughs> oh my, why are we in the Three Bears' house? Is Goldilocks here too? Why are you dressed up so fancy? Ah, why do you always get us in these situations? But how could this be our house? Where are my mat wing curtains? And flying cups my mother gave us for our wedding. They flew back to Fairyland. Didn't like the weather? Okay, I get it. Grandma Ogre is coming and we have to hide in case she gets well, hungry. Mom, and... I'm telling you, we are in the real world. R-E-A-L, real. This is where we live now. That's enough silly talk about the real world, Tom. We all know the real world only exists mm. in children's bedtime stories. Mom! 
Mom, remember? We had to leave Fairyland because of the you're a fairy and dad's an ogre and fairies and ogres aren't supposed to marry business. That's ridiculous, Tom. Are you saying I wouldn't have remembered something like that? Uh, uh yes. yes. Oh, I know what's happened. Merlin created this elaborate illusion. He's really gone too far this time. Great, so when does the nightmare end? I'm going to pop over to Merlin and tell him we figured out his little joke. <laughs> oh, no, my silver-winged dragonfly. In the real world, you cannot go through walls. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. If anyone sees your mom like this, the whole town will know where we come from. And what I did. What's that got you to How many times do I have to say it? It's a legend. I never ate children. There's no way we're letting her out. Oh, look. What an unusual door. Mom, come back. Willow, my darling. You don't know what you're doing. And I thought I was the excitable one. Oh dear, I forgot my wand. <laughs> the wand! Quick, grab it before Mom gets it! Uh-oh. Now, we're in trouble. Uh, let's split up. The first one who finds her brings her back home. Nothing. Oh, Tom! <laughs> you must be his father. Well, I was hoping we'd meet. Miss Tinker, Tom's teacher. I'm charmed. That's dreadful! Who charmed you? the sidewalk, did you? Oh, how sweet. You know, I'm just a commoner fairy, really. But I'll be happy to cast a spell for you if you wish. <laughs> yeah, cast a spell. Why don't you cast yourself out of my way so I can get by and get home to my wife? Take the bell. <laughs> Tinkerbell's husband? Oh, uh, tell her I said hello and congratulations on the wedding! <laughs> Children on wheels, carriages without horses. What a very odd tale this is. With a memory like Tom's, it's urgent to test his IQ. Oh, of course, of course, his I do. <laughs> Seeing that Tom knows so much about so many things, I suppose he comes from a highly cultivated family. What, in fact, do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? Before we moved, uh, Dad was in the uh, restaurant business. Like that, could I? Leave who? The dwarves. That wicked witch must have changed them into stone, the poor things. Mom, those are garden gnomes. They're statues, that's all. Oh, are they? Oh dear, I was always so bad at faces. <laughs> then, do you mean she's not a witch? She's not a witch. Tom needs special schooling to suit his extraordinary capacities. It would be a crime to waste talent like that. Can you and your wife join me at the school tomorrow? I'd like you to both meet the principal. Uh, tomorrow will be a problem. Mom has swimming classes at the pool. Dad, are you coming? We're gonna be late. Goodbye, Miss Tinker. Oh! Around. I, I couldn't find Merlin's house anywhere, and I don't get it. Why can't I fly here? <laughs> well, what do you know? 
So really, you mean it? This is where I live? Oh, then I ought to answer the door, right? Yes, I'm coming! Mom, no! Hello, ma'am. Your husband forgot his keys at the coffee shop. <laughs> oh, my Gregor is always collecting the strangest things. <laughs> But please, come inside for a cup of tea. How extraordinary. You look so like our cousin Tinkerbell. I must introduce you to her one day. Do I work? Oh, what a question. But you see, I'm a fairy. Good mom! Yes, a very, very good mom. Yes, indeed. Mom even did all the decoration here in the house. How lovely to have Tom's teacher to tea. What subjects do you teach? Spells, shrinking, vanishing? <laughs> oh, good old mom. Always ready with the joke. She really is the family clown. And uh, your husband is in the restaurant business? Is he really? Gregor, you didn't tell me that. Let me introduce you to my teacher. Oh, you're the person responsible for teaching the little boys and girls to be good. Well, yes, I... Revolting. Oh, dear. Well, that was a great success. Well done, everyone. You know, you needn't be afraid of me. I swear, I've never eaten anyone in my life. Miss Tinker, you'll be fine. Why don't you just have a rest? Well, we go downstairs for a minute. His Highness here will look after you. Hello, my dear lady. What a pleasure it is to be given the honor to pass a little time in your company. Would it be entirely inappropriate to ask for a kiss? <laughs> Another one with a headache. This is the absolute worst possible, possible worst thing that could ever happen. That's my teacher. What does she think of me now? Oh, Tom, I'm sure she still thinks you're a very decent, kind, honorable young man. With an ogre as a dad. So, yes, well, that was uh, an unfortunate slip of the tongue. <sighs> I'll go upstairs and help Mom with her memory. And you have to keep Miss Tinker here until we can sort out this mess. And try not to make any more slips of the tongue. Absolutely. You can count on me, son. Yes, you do. That's the day Dad emptied the entire pool when he dove in. You remember? Uh, no. What's a swimming pool? <gasps> now wait, I think I remember this. Let's see. Oh, that's the Enchanted Cave in Disneyland. You know, even before I turned vegetarian, I never really ate that much raw meat. I know I had the mega steak tartar special ones, but, but it was just because I had missed my breakfast, and they were out of salads, and I was so hungry. Oh, I'm not boring you, rattling on, am I? Oh, good. I feel so much better just talking to you. You're so... Oh, how can I put it? So... human. Oh. If we follow computer logic, her memory can't be wiped out for good because Mom didn't finish the spell. <gasps> what if her memory is in the... Forget it, Sherlock. I've already been there. Doesn't that sound like Puss in Boots purring? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Look! <sighs> Now, how did that happen? Have you been playing with my magic wand again, Tom? I get it. Mom's memory was put into sleep mode. That's why she can't remember anything. So what do we do now? Mom, why don't you try to wake up your reflection? What a lovely idea. We could ask me to tea. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Have you thought this over, Tom? You really want me to remove those syntax chapters from your brain? Yay! <laughs> do we know each other? Of course we do, since you're me. Would you like to come to tea? How charming. I'd simply love to. 
happened when I turned 304. I was coming out of the Black Forest, and I turned around where he looks... No! It's okay, Miss Tinker. Everything is fine. It's all just been a bad dream. Really? But he only has the history book and P to Z of the encyclopedia in his brain. Dad, can't I at least keep the history book, please? It's so hard to remember all those crazy names. Sorry, son. Just going to have to learn it the hard way. Willow? Oh, stand over by Miss Tinker, darling. I'll do you both together. There we go. I've just deleted Miss Tinker's memories from the time of your class presentation, Tom. And all your books are gone, I'm afraid. <sighs> but you're still the smartest little guy I know. Who knows the name of the person who discovered America? Tom, give it a go at least. Me, me, me. me. Uh, was it Elvis Presley? No, no, Mozart! No, wait, 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 I have it! Willy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't get a zero on the essay we have to write now. What essay? Why waste your time? It's not as if you're gonna have a clue anyway. <laughs> don't tell me you forgot. It's about the fairy tale tradition. <sighs> Ooh, we were out of pumpkin. Just a second. Officer Donnelly, what a lovely surprise. Ferocia, it's for you. I'm looking for the person responsible for this abomination. Smallish, chubby, toady mouth, butterfly wing hairdo. Does that ring a bell? You know what my toady mouth has to say about that? Don't make things worse for yourself, Ferocia. That paint on your hand makes your guilt obvious. Oh no, officer! Uh, Auntie was just helping me dye some old fabric black to make me a Zorro cape! And she doesn't really have a toady mouth. <laughs> See? Totally different! Hmm. Okay, I'm going to believe you this time. Lying is second nature to that kid. He could be so evil if he wanted to. Plus the square root of 64, which gives us a grand total of 731. Any questions? Tom? <gasps> Uh, no questions, Miss Tinker. It's perfectly clear. <laughs> you haven't listened to a word I said, Tom. Can you tell me the square root of 159? Uh, if x equals 15 times 9, then... Uh, oh, that's not it. <laughs> Hey, Squirt! Did you throw this ball? Oh, no! Uh, it belongs to those guys over there! Uh, definitely. I recognize it. You better go see the doctor. I think you're having a serious allergic reaction to pollen. Like my new hat. Uh, 
It's so magnificent. It's the pollen. Allergic to lies? Oh, yes, that could be. Especially at your rate of lying. Such a promising kid. Oh, what a waste. It had better not be contagious. <coughs> Sorry, your hideousness. Didn't realize that was your scalp. <laughs> Even allergic to other people's lies. Do something, Mom. Oh, you know I'm no good with medicine. Remember what happened when I tried to cure your father's stiff neck? Daddy Kins, huh? can I go to the movies with Stan? I've done all my homework. Permission refused. That'll teach you not to lie to your father. <laughs> Can't you just catch measles like other measly kids your age? Oh, what's gonna happen to me? No real world medicine can cure this. Why don't we contact G? He can bring us a fairyland remedy. That's an excellent idea. Let me get a message to him right now. Fly away, little bird. Just use the phone. <laughs> ah. Uncle G, at last! <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Flying was fast till we hit the carpet jam. Then traffic was real heavy at the real world border. Got the remedy? Nope. But I have the way of making it. Here's an alchemist buddy's almanac along with all his stuff. Yeah, cuz, <gasps> you should be able to wangle it with this. Alembics, chronic alligatorism, allergies. Allergies to glass slippers, to grandmothers. Ah, here we are. Allergy to lies. Oh, let's see how my... Oh. Uh, is it bad? Well, no. You know what these medical books are like. Always describe the extreme cases. <laughs> Let's see your tongue. Ah. Uh... Oh, it isn't forked yet. That's a good sign. <laughs> Sweetheart, you have nothing to worry about. With this magic book, alchemy is child's play. Look at the great little vaccination I've prepared for you. <laughs> You're going to love this. <laughs> Okay, let me test this out. Ferocia deserves a medal for good citizenship. No reaction. Well, that looks like it was successful. Oh, sorry. I didn't read about the side effects. Uh, oh, great. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. <sighs> Here's the answer to your troubles, Tom. I made this up by myself. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you trust me? Uh, yes, of course I do. <gasps> to be perfectly frank, I do have a few doubts. There, it's already over. Go on, don't be afraid. Tell us a big fat lie. I'd rather go to the movies than clean my room. <laughs> Hang on, I, I meant to say the opposite. That's how clever this is, sweetheart. Thanks to the serum, you'll never be able to tell a lie. <laughs> no more lies, no more allergy. Isn't that a clever idea? <laughs> but my darling dragonfly, what will happen to us if Tom can't lie? 
I don't know what you have against the truth. It's fresh and it makes for a nice change, doesn't it? To be frank, I'm not certain this excessive honesty is the best way for us to remain anonymous. A family of monsters are among us. The freaks have landed. His father is an ogre. Exclusive pictures. The witch spills the beans. Why not use a guinea pig to try out your antidote? Less of a risk. A guinea pig? For an allergy to lies? But those animals don't talk, do they? Oh, and they shed hair everywhere. <laughs> What's the problem? I inoculate you with Tom's allergy, find the vaccination, and that's all there is to it. One more word and I'm calling the SPCA. Come on, Your Highness. You're the only one who will never be questioned. So you won't have to lie. Mm -hmm. Your family's worth a little sacrifice, isn't it? No. Okay, whatever you want, Your Highness. But if I happen to mention, despite myself, of course, that a talking toad lives with us, real world scientists are going to be very interested. <laughs> well, we could talk about it. So we agree. Full princely privileges for an entire month, as much royal jelly as I like, and sole use of the armchair facing the TV. Uh, so, what do you want me to do? Sign a contract? No need. Your state of health encourages me to take you at your word. <laughs> well, Your Highness, first, let's take your temperature. Huh? I knew it! And you denied it all these years! <gasps> clove in my sandwich just before my first date with Charles. That was you, wasn't it? So, how's your yucky illness? All gone now? Almost. Mom's been working hard. Great. I was so scared you'd get into trouble because of that <sighs> stupid allergy. What were you doing outside, Aunt Ferocia? Oh, just expressing my artistic nature. See, it's normal. It says right here under possible side effects. Slight gas. <laughs> Mom, did you find the cure? School starts in half an hour. Half an hour? I think that might be cutting it a bit close, kiddo. <laughs> Come on, Your Highness, it's nothing serious. <sighs> Always making such a fuss. <laughs> you liked my hat, but don't you just love my dress? It really is... Uh, ridiculous! You must be out of your mind to buy such a hideous dress! <laughs> your elixir is almost ready. Any special taste you want? Anything but strawberry. You're saying you didn't feel like doing your homework and you watch TV instead? What has gotten into you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Zero for history and conduct. And stop acting the clown. It's terrible. It changes every two minutes. <laughs> It goes without saying that I'm redrafting the terms of my contract with Tom. <laughs> He's going to hear a thing or two from me. Oops. Now, come on. Don't get angry like that. When I say Nat's brain in an elephant's body, it's the truth. <laughs> At least he didn't bite your ear off. 
Yeah, that's really great. Well, the best thing about today is that it's over and I don't have to. Ambrosia! Ferocia Ferrickson, you are under arrest. <gasps> Did you hear that, darling? Just like on TV. This was on the sidewalk. Your membership card to the Horror Film Festival. Where were you last night between 9 and 10 o'clock? Nothing. Can anyone back this alibi? Nothing to add, Tom? You're usually very prompt to defend your aunt. Best nine last night, and I saw her come home at ten. There was paint on her hands and on her dress. So there. Uh, huh? Well done, Tom. You had the courage to do your duty. You should be proud of yourself. Take her away. Oh yes! You can be proud of yourself. I couldn't help it, Aunt Ferocia. Oh, traitorous godson, never speak to me again. I gave my life's blood, my life's energy, to teach him to tread the path of evil, and he stabs me in the back! Tom has to come to the station to sign a statement with you as a parent. I didn't do it! You're lucky I'm not 20 years younger, Donnelly! I'd have changed you into a stinking cockroach! Lock her up in the cell! And make her stop yelling! Uh, you should be tolerant, officer. My aunt can't help acting like a witch. That's what she is! <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. His mother read him too many fairy tales. <laughs> I didn't see this note. Always try the cure-all remedy before attempting to mix your own. What cure-all remedy? Cure-all remedy? How did I miss that? You mean Tom and His Highness went through all those transformations for nothing? Oh, please, Your <laughs> Highness. Don't look at me like that. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Go on now, tell us a lie. I am very ugly. Try a really big lie, and just to be sure. Mm. I am an unbearable, puffed up little toad. Will that do? Mm. Your manners and breeding are impeccable! Hey. Get going, Uncle G. And don't get lost on the web! Because of me, my aunt is going to go to jail? It'll do her good, son. Excuse me, just for a moment. <laughs> just in time! Uncle G, you're the best! Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. But if you could just imagine the number of screens I tried before I came to the right one. What we need now is a great big lie to save Aunt Ferocia. Okay. 
What have they got against her? Uh, your statement? Ferocious membership card with her photo, her scandalous reputation, not to mention her awful attitude, which won't go down well with the jury. Well, I guess that's a lot. But if I get busy, I can... <laughs> Officer, I've been thinking this over, and I can't help doubting Ferocious' responsibility. Let us consider, perhaps, that... Don't waste your breath, Tom. I have two signed confessions. Graffiti artist did this. Your aunt is innocent. Really? Once again, please forgive me for this appalling mistake. That's no problem, officer. But Ferocia might not be too willing to forgive. You know she has quite a temper. Uh, send me three more men as reinforcement. Yeah, and riot gear. <laughs> you should have seen Donnelly's face when he made his apology. <laughs> and thanks to that fool, I met some really nice people in the cell. Are you still angry with me for turning you in? Ah, uh, I'll forgive you for exceptional circumstances. <laughs> After all, we can't choose our mothers or our fathers. Ferocia, we don't always see eye to eye, but I'm really sorry I doubted your innocence. That's that's wrong. Innocence, schminnocence. No need to exaggerate. What do you mean? Oh, no. All out of ammo. <laughs> Who do you think you're gonna impress with those girly scribbles? What? Why not start with that wall over there? You gotta think big, for devil's sake. <laughs> I really like those kids. No problem, Tom. Well, see you guys. Bye. Oops, this ain't the right way. suspicious-looking liquid here. What is happening to you, lad? You're covered in bizarre spots. Now, well, maybe you're allergic to pollution. You better see a doctor. Italian. <laughs> I am so impressed. Speak to me, Tom. Mm -hmm. Why talk when we can dance? Oh! <sighs> That's very sweet, Tom. I do like to dance, but this is Italian class. <laughs> well, no wonder you're falling behind. Are you sitting on your book? <laughs> yes, Miss Tinker. <laughs> I think we'll have to get you a smaller desk and some extra Italian lessons. See? <sighs> what am I worrying about? Kids say dumb things in class every day. Who's gonna remember? <laughs> Why? 
What are you gonna do? Make me look like a fool in front of my teacher and the whole class? Actually, I was only gonna tell Mom. But your idea sounds so much better! Well, you're too late. I already did it, and they're still laughing at me. Well, I'm not going to laugh. Tell me all about it. I sort of, kind of, asked Miss Tinker to dance. <laughs> you, you asked your teacher to dance? <laughs> Shh! I didn't mean to! It was an accident! I just think she's... <laughs> sort of nice. All right, Tom, calm down. There's no point in going to pieces over some silly little crutch. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, would you mind staying out of the kitchen? I asked this older kid at school to help me with my Italian lessons. His name is Lorenzo or something. You really came all the way from Italy? <gasps> Would you speak some Italian for us? Si. Oh. Do you think you could teach me Italian? Uh, no, I don't think that's such a good idea. He wants to be just like Lorenzo. That is so cute. Uh, sure, kid. Why not? He is so giving. Lorenzo? Uh, here? Uh, unbelievable! Uh, let me guess. You think he's sort of nice. If you wanted to look even more Italian, just do that. I don't want to look Italian. I want to speak Italian. What? <gasps> Lorenzo, the new kid from school, who just arrived from Italy, here in my kitchen? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hello, or should I say, hola? <gasps> Isn't that Spanish? Is it? <laughs> Sauna glasses. Get to them every time. <laughs> I should see what's wrong. Sometimes a young girl needs her father. Maybe I should go. It could call for some sensitivity, and, well, you're an ogre. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, yeah, right. Hello, Cindy, dear. It's your mom. <laughs> Tom, your sister needs you. Me? <laughs> Hey, sis. Go away. <laughs> Where are you going? I made a total fool of myself. Lorenzo is the dreamiest boy in class. I really can't help it if I need a charming prince. It's not your fault. It's because we're from fairy tale land. Just my luck. I can't believe my ears. You're talking like being from fairy tale land is a bad thing. Don't you realize it's the answer to all your problems? It is? How? Meet me at the top of the stairs on the morrow, when the bells toll one and twicely times three. Why can't he just say, before school tomorrow? <laughs> Everybody here? Good. First. You must gain possession of the good fairy code book and the enchanted wand of magic from the fairy's chamber. You mean Mom's room? Uh, yes. But within the chamber lies a sleeping ogre. You mean Dad, right? Will you just get the stuff? Let us 
must never speak of this again. So, what kind of spell are you looking for? A Prince Charming spell. Every girl who sees you will be crazy about you. Me? Oh, yes. Every girl except, of course, Cindy. Lorenzo won't be Mr. Popular anymore. You mean he'll be so desperate, he'll have to ask me out? <laughs> exactly. I love it. Oh, no. I'm not getting zapped for that. Fine. My mistake. Just thought you'd like to try being tall for a day. I'd be tall? Very. Can I be a fireman, too? One wish at a time. Okay. Zap me. Alakazim and then Alakazam. Make Tom a dashing, charming young man at least until 12 o'clock tomorrow. What's wrong? Who knows? Ugh. These things never work the way you want them to in the real world. If I could just... Oops. Uh -oh. I can't control it! How does Willow manage to use this thing? Tom, are you okay? <laughs> a big! <clears throat> I mean, a big. <sighs> Can't you be any quieter? What if somebody sees you? <laughs> Ouch! What's going on? I'm trying to sleep up here. Did I hear screaming? Oops. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> this is Mr. Uh, Charming. <laughs> He's just calling door to door to see if we want to buy any... Uh... Uh, toads. Uh, but I see you've already got one. Uh, sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> What's your hurry, Toad Man? Have we met before? Uh, no. <sighs> okay, sorry to waste your time, Mr. Charming. I'm on my way to school. Uh, why don't I show you the gate? Nice to meet you, Mom. <laughs> Did, Did he, he say, say Mom? Mom? Nah. Hey, muscles, I'm in the book. Call me. You can't go into class looking like that. But what about Miss Tinker? Um, I'll tell Miss Tinker you're gonna be late because you're feeling weird. I guess that's true. I'll see you later in the school cafeteria. Now go hide out in the bathroom until first break. The tower's away. What am I supposed to do in the bathroom until then? <gasps> hmm. oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Seventy-two. Still two hours to go. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Hey! Wash your hands! Spaghetti. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. Hi, Cindy. Want to join us? I can't. I'm waiting for my... Someone I should tell this guy he's not as cool as he thinks he is. Yeah, I'll tell him. No, I'll tell him. No, me! No, me! <laughs> 
chocolate, spaghetti, gorgonzola, mozzarella! <ride> Milk? <laughs> um, milky coffee? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody calls me Bobby. Bobby Sinclair. <laughs> Where are you from? How long are you staying? Slow down, ladies. Gotta get my Java, right? So that's coffee. <laughs> you sound kind of funny. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, girls. Gotta go. I left the water running. <laughs> Bobby! A spaghetti, a chocolate, a gorgonzola. <laughs> or ravioli. Uh. Hola. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Here we go! <laughs> Sorry, girls! You're too young for me! Why don't you look me up in about five years? It's okay! We'll save! <laughs> 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 Handsome, we'd like to borrow at least until 12 o'clock tomorrow. Mrs. <laughs> 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 Tinker, may I be? <gasps> yes, Tom. Excused early today. Well, you look like you're in a rush. No. Oh. <laughs> Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, me? I'm Felix the Fireman. <laughs> Just checking out the fire extinguishers. Hmm, you don't look like a fireman. That's because I'm off duty. You're off duty, but you're still checking the fire extinguishers? I can't help myself. I'm a professional. If something were to happen to one of these children, I'd never be able to forgive myself. Oh, wow. The world could use more men like you. But you mustn't work too hard. We need our heroes fat and fit. Oh, don't worry. I take the afternoons off. Do manly things. Bowling and other sports. Ooh, bowling? Well, you're kidding. Today's my bowling day. You simply must join me. My way of saying thanks. <laughs> Watch the pro. <laughs> 
Don't worry, Felix. Ah, uh, it must be the shoes. They're, um, hurting my feet. I need to change them. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> I knew all this magic wasn't good for my heart. This is all that stupid Toad's fault. I heard that. What are you doing here? Uh, just making sure everything's going according to plan. According to plan? The spell is completely out of control. And what was all that stuff about the spell only lasting until 12? Ah. Forgot to tell you, uh, that's 12 midnight. Midnight? What am I supposed to do until then? Hmm, good question. Ah! Have your fingers always been that big? Not again! There you are. I was getting worried. Oh, sorry. I wasn't feeling myself. Much better now. <laughs> Ready to roll. Tom, I mean, Mr. Charming. <laughs> what a show off, this guy. Mr. Charming, what's going on, Felix? <laughs> Who's, Who's the Felix? Felix? I can explain. Um, actually, no, I, I can't explain. Why would you lie to me about your name? You're not a fireman, are you? Not exactly. Or at all. Is everything you've told me a lie? I didn't mean to lie. You really want to know the truth? Well, the truth is... Ah! Oh! I think we've heard enough truth for one day. What are you talking about? This guy is a big stinky faker! Lying to a lady, he's the lowest of the low! Hey, don't be so mean. I think whatever his name is has been very honest with us. He's told us his name's not Felix or Bobby and he's not a fireman. I just wish all guys could be so honest. Do you want an honesty, baby? You got it. I just pretended to be Italian so girls would think I'm dreamy. My real name's Dave and I've never even been to Italy. <sighs> Are you crazy? Uh, too much honesty? Uh, sorry. I gotta go. See ya. Uh, girls will always be a mystery to me. Yes, I, I think so. Tom, why, what are you doing here? Me? I was just hoping to walk my sister home from her date. Ah, oh, what a little gentleman. Don't ever change. Oh, why do little boys have to grow up? Did you hear that? Bobby Sinclair's got nothing on me. I guess being a little kid is still better than being a big jerk. Speaking of jerks, where's Lorenzo? Don't you mean Dave? I dumped him. I realized I should only be chasing guys I like. So when does that spell wear off anyway? Not for hours. Why? What are we doing here? Your 
really cool. Everybody chip in for my birthday. Here, listen to this. Huh? Lousy music, kid. A nifty player like this deserves better. I'm borrowing it. That's my MP3 player. Hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> What MP3 player? Anyone seen an MP3 player? My MP3 player? I'll get it back for you. I promise. But he's huge. I can't go waving the wand around at school, now can I? Well, I suppose you could wait until you weighed 240 pounds after acquiring a black belt in karate and then get even. <sighs> hmm. Aha! I have an idea. I suggest a minor transformation, just until you get the MP3 player back. Transformation? If I change into somebody else, Mom and Dad will find out. <laughs> Not with my plan. Have you got it? Shazam! Ready? Where are you? <laughs> yes! Aha! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> what? Is there a law against laughing? Have you seen my rule? Dad, are you tripping over your own feet now? No, I just... I think your dad has trouble using his feet. They're too big for him. Huh? Hey! Help you cross the road. Oh, thank you, son. You're a real help. wasn't hard. Justice has been restored. Okay, back to normal. No, I'm over here. Mm -hmm. No, here. Well, it would be easier if I could see you. <sighs> that's better. Uh, that's not quite it, actually. What's the problem? <laughs> uh, let's take it easy. This is just a passing glitch. Uh, let's not panic. Uh oh. Is Tom here? Uh, why? We've got visitors. He isn't at school either. <laughs> Nowhere in the house. He wasn't at school all afternoon. Well, no. Let's not worry about it, hmm? Maybe he just skipped a class. I did that too. Once. A week. At least. But I'll have a very stern conversation with him when he gets home. 
<laughs> when Tom comes home, I'll have a few words to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you're too fat, your knees can't take the weight. No, he fell on me! Huh? Tom, this is no time to play hide-and-seek. I'm not playing! I'm over here! <gasps> Tom, give me back my wand and show yourself! Okay, I did take the wand. I'm sorry. Now I'm invisible, as you can see. Well, actually... Can't see, really. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Miss Tinker! <gasps> Oops! <laughs> Just changing a light bulb. <laughs> Now, where is that light fixture? Ah, yes! Over there! Tom didn't come to school this afternoon, and you didn't call, and as I happen to be in your neighborhood, is he okay? Uh, oh, yes! Very okay. He was at the dentist's. He'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Tom, say goodbye! See you tomorrow, Miss Tinker! See you tomorrow, Tom. I'm counting on you to be there. <laughs> oh, why did he do this? To protect the weak from the powerful. What a stupid idea. The things my brother does to get attention. Ooh. Right. We have a real problem here. You can't go around being invisible. What would your teacher say? Hmm. Aha! I am the solution. Change me into Tom. Yes, that's a good idea, replacing Tom. But, uh, why you? Because I am the only one here who was once a little boy. I'm not little. Okay, it might work if you stayed near your father and guided him, Tom. Mm. So the deal is, if anyone asks me questions, you tell me what to say. I've kind of forgotten what I learned at school. <laughs> uh, in fact, I kind of forgot it even when I was learning it. <laughs> Are you the one who did that funny business with my bag? Using strings? <laughs> I'm gonna teach you. Nobody messes with Max. That's Max the bully. Oh, so little Maxie Waxie wants to play, huh? Is this Flea trying to rile me? I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked about school. And that's what I hated about school. Oh, but the scarf's a great idea. Uh, that way, when I don't know the answer, you do the talking. Thanks for the MP3. Can I sit next to you? Uh, oh no, uh, I've got a bad cold, <laughs> and you could catch it. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your eraser? Can I borrow your eraser, please? Please. <laughs> Dad, I'm an easygoing kind of kid. Well, what happened to manners? What's the purpose of that scarf, Tom? 
Uh, I've got a bad cold, Miss Tinker. I thought you were at the dentist's. Uh, exactly, and going there is how I caught the cold. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything serious. Come up here and do this exercise for me. <laughs> You're a little red. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Just do exactly what I tell you. Well, draw me an isosceles triangle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean a triangle with two sides of equal length. Oh, uh, you mean a triangle with two sides of equal length? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Let's get rid of that scar for now. Look how hot you are. There. Now, tell me about the angles at the triangle's base. Uh, sorry. An I saw a silly triangle base has two eagles and gulls. <laughs> Come on. So you got two zeros today. So what? It's an experience. Your dad did pretty good. Considering I didn't know he could read. Mm-hmm. Except that Tom is not normally a zero student, and Miss Tinker is going to suspect something. Easy for you to talk. If you're such a great student, then, then you go do it. Yes, darling. That is exactly what I plan to do. Hey! He dumped his spinach on me! Cindy, stop picking on your brother. I don't believe this! Nothing to worry about, Tom. I was always a bright student. Ooh! Look at that handbag! It is beautiful! Mom, I'm a boy! Well, it's still gorgeous, isn't it? You're right. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, excuse me, young man. Ah! No, no, please don't hurt me! I didn't mean to! Max! <laughs> Give me your hands and look at me. Everyone can make mistakes, but I'm sure that at heart, you're a good boy. You need to let that part of yourself out more. There are people out there who love you. Stop sulking and come eat. <sighs> what was so terrible about what I did? What you did? Appearances, too. As if that was all. That little top you're wearing is truly adorable. Real silk. Where did you find it? Uh, at the mall. Come on, yeah, move it along. Now, come on, children. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but I think my version was at least as good as yours, and probably a lot nicer. Ha! Be truthful, Tom. Which one of us was the best? Wait a minute. I haven't had a go. My turn tomorrow! Uh, hello? Uh, 
Yep. Oh, really? Uh, I'll pass you on to them. It's Miss Tinker. She wants to see all three of us together. <laughs> Why can't we just say I'm sick and you go without me? People visit sick children. Yes, to see them with their eyes. So, someone has to take Tom's place, correct? Huh? <laughs> uh, and no? Way. <laughs> I asked you to come because over the last few days, Tom seems to be acting rather strange. Is, Is that, that so? so? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not the only one who noticed this, but it's nothing dramatic. Has Tom been... Acting up at home. No, 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 uh, not, no, not, uh, not really. really. Uh, what exactly do you mean by rather strange? I've noted a few incidents. For example, the day he went into the girls' bathroom. That was not me. <laughs> Tom attacked a boy in class. Really? Tom did that? But maybe the classmate provoked Tom? But wasn't Tom able to control his temper? Let me go on. In the cafeteria, Tom started pulling a girl's hair for no reason. Oh, it, it was a passing incident. Nothing to panic about. <gasps> oh! Over there! What is that? That's a corner of the ceiling? Ah! Aha! Ha, 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 ha. There! Come and see! What? The fly? Surprising for this time of year, no? No, listen, let's get back to Tom. So, what I was saying, I... <laughs> yes? Can I have a glass of water? I'm a scrusher hummer hiblick. I need to take a tablet. Oh, I see. Uh, let me get one for you. Hurry, Cindy! Here's your glass of water. <laughs> Thanks! Ah, that's better. But what about your tablet? Already on my tongue! Ah, so, well, Tom, why this behavior? I... I, I was rather nervous. Huh? Uh, are you all right? You look a little tired. Oh. Well, it is the end of the year. Tom? <laughs> yes, Miss Tinker? But what are you up to? Please sit down. <laughs> Would you like me to fetch you a glass of water? It's happening again. Now I'm seeing double. 
<laughs> well, it's the end of the year. We're all tired, and we are all going to have a good rest, and everything will be back to normal in the fall. <laughs> right, Tom? <laughs> Goodbye. It was a pleasure. Enjoy your vacation. Oh, and thank you for the glass of water. <laughs> Go easy on Miss Tinker. It may be the last week, but she is truly exhausted. Ah, I'm becoming invisible! What's happening? Oh no! Where are you? I'm right here! Near the staircase! <laughs> Honey? Honey, wake up! It, it was just a joke! You might want to be invisible for real when she wakes up. Um... Ow! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, now just wake up. Alex... Break everything! It, it was a joke! No, 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 no! Uh... Tom, I gave you an A+. Plus. I'd like you to read your composition out loud to the entire class. Really? A plus in composition? A in math? A plus plus in history? Hey, buddy, you got it made. <laughs> Girlfriends and I, we'd really like you to come to a pajama party. You'll be the only boy. <laughs> hey, looks like this is your day. Tom, tell him you won't believe this. Jason asked me over. Well, that is, he asked the entire class over. But I'm sure he really meant me. That's wild! I got great news, too! <laughs> Mom, why do you look so miserable? Do you see what I see? Hmm? A party! With all the ladies from the neighborhood. Plus a bunch we don't know. <laughs> all the neighborhood ladies except me, because I was not invited. I am never invited. I haven't got a single friend. What's wrong with me? Ah Nothing's wrong, Mom. You're just different. In Fairyland, I wasn't so different. Like with me, in Fairyland, Although I was a toad, I was still a prince. Here, I'm simply a vulgar amphibian. Willow? Willow, it's your sister. <gasps> what has she done this time? Burglary, insulting an officer of the peace, etc. Spitting, farting in an enclosed space, encouraging debauchery, and on and on and on and on. But she is trying to change. <laughs> huh? <gasps> no point digging, Aunt Ferocia. We paid your bail. <laughs> Good. Ah, oh, with this ankle device, you won't be able to leave home. No more wild sprees on the town. <laughs> Hey, there's Dad! Huh? What's wrong, darling? You look tense. Mainly because the only kind of work I ever get in the real world is hard labor. What was it this time? Sumo wrestler carrier. <laughs> Guess what? I quit. Make some room for me. I'm fed up with this brainless, back-breaking stuff. 
what I want is delicate work. Something artistic. A manicurist. Or a hairdresser. At least I wasn't a physical freak in Fairyland. Folks appreciated my artistic nature. Appearances weren't so important in Fairyland. There were princesses back there prepared to kiss a toad. But there weren't any video games. No TV either. And no hipster jeans. <laughs> Can someone get me down? <laughs> Forget it. <sighs> I don't like the way they go on and on about Fairyland. I'm happy here. Look, we have nothing to worry about. I've always heard them say Ferocious has been banished and can't go back. That was Fairyland law. <laughs> 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 Trouble with the police! No more moping around wishing for friends. Isn't that marvelous, children? We're going home! Yeah! Unbelievable. Are you two sulking, or is that just an act? <laughs> we can't leave like this! You heard the news only ten minutes ago, and you're already out the door. We don't even get a day to say goodbye to our friends? Well, that's true. The children do have friends here. Okay, we have 24 hours to find a way out of this. If Mom had friends, if Dad had a job he liked, if His Highness met a princess, and if Donnelly left Aunt Ferocia alone, they would have no reason to leave. <gasps> In other words, impossible. Impossible is not magic, right? Do you have the wand? Who do you think you're dealing with? That lady over there looks perfect. Yeah, she looks wacky enough to me. <sighs> now she's programmed to like Mom, and Mom to like her. I just love your style. So very like You know, I take levitation classes too, but not up to your level. Ah, I wasn't actually levitating. I've had a pet kangaroo for years, and, uh, watching him jump all the time rubbed off on me, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Eee. Ooh. Oh, you are so amusing. My name's Jennifer. Call me Jenny. Willow. <laughs> Let's have some magic time herbal tea at the Enchantment Cafe. We have so much to talk about. Now, Dad's turn. The resume you sent us three months ago fell out of my file this morning as if by magic. An excellent resume. I can't think why I didn't take you on at the time to run my salon. Me neither. Just have a minor technical test now. I'd like you to give me a de-stress treatment. You're special. <laughs> oh. 
Station, right in the middle of my nap. Wait for us, Ambrosia! Ah, I'm supposed to choose a delinquent for a special rehabilitation program. Ugh, I don't know what possessed our attorney general. You, you look like you got an honest face. Why don't you pull a name out of the box? What's this program? <laughs> hey, the real world is starting to appeal to me! <laughs> Not using our turn signal, are we? But I wasn't making a turn. Don't get wise with me. Get out of the car. What? No seatbelt? What? I just took it off. No, you didn't. Any witnesses to prove the contrary? <laughs> OK, I'm ready. Hello? How are things going, Dad? Tip top. So you don't feel like leaving anymore? Absolutely not. I'm having too much fun. How about some hairspray, Jenny, to keep this do in place? Jenny, meet my children, Tom and Cindy. Oh, aren't they cute? Children, meet Jenny, my best friend. Hello, ma'am. Ah! Ah! My door! Keep your mouth shut, Fatso. <laughs> Just call me Dirty Harry. <laughs> what the heck are you doing, Ferocia? We're after a guy who is five foot one, 84 pounds, no beard, and very red hair. Mm, sounds like you, kid. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a brand new beauty mask treatment. <laughs> Leave the premises at once and take your entire loopy family with you! We tried to make them like the real world and we failed. So now we make them hate Fairyland. But that means going there, which is what we are trying not to do. Oh, not necessarily. We pretend to go there. Hmm? Well, everyone's here. Can we go? Mom, can I be the one who gives the signal? Of course you can, dear. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, it could be Goldie 
Locke's house? But where are the children? They're awake! Cindy, do like we said. You gotta make them hate this place, really hate it! I think that's quite enough, Gregor. She's not quite awake yet. May ye all be welcome indeed to our marvelous, magical world! Here in Fairyland, all is magic. Shut out the jive, dwarf. We know we come from this place. Now, where are our children? Uh, rest assured, your children are in a safe place. <sighs> what about my wand? And who are you? Border police, here to make sure you're not bringing in any real world illnesses. And also, to make sure you're familiar with all the rules of Fairyland. Oh, oh, try me! Can't beat me on that subject! Laws and bylaws, I'm your ogre! These are Fairyland practical tests. See those doors? A task is behind each door. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Let's see if you still have the knack. That pile is enough to make 12,345,876 toothpicks. But there's no axe. By hand. You'd like some champagne and caviar, too. <laughs> oh, no, not this again. Down, down, back off, I say. <laughs> um, what am I supposed to do? that nothing is the same here anymore, then we suggest we all go home to the real world. We use the sleeping powder again and ta-da, over. No more pressure about fabulous fairy land. Willow? Willow? Yes? I don't feel like cutting wood. And the more wool I cut off, the faster it grows. <laughs> I suggest we get out of here. Move aside. Geronimo! I did it! I did it! <laughs> and you wonder why you're always being offered laboring jobs. <laughs> Get the kids and we get out of this crazy world! But we have no idea where they are! <laughs> oh no! If they find out we set this whole thing up, we're in big trouble! <coughs> Plus, they'll want to go back to Fairyland for keeps! <laughs> Well, 
Carriages never used to look like that. Not in my day. Yeah, we've been gone quite a while. We can forget it, Cindy. We have to tell them the truth. My darlings! You're here! What a relief! <laughs> we have to get out of here fast. Things have gone totally crazy here. See? They even have SUVs in Fairyland now. No! Wait a sec! We're the ones who... <laughs> we'll talk about it later. First, we have to find the wand. Uh... Huh? Oh. We set this whole thing up. <laughs> because we didn't want to leave the real world! Wait, 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 wait. The logs, the sheep, balls and chains, the <laughs> troll. You did that? You did all that because you wanted to stay? Well, yeah. This is where we belong. I think we're being selfish wanting to move. I'll find friends one day. And, dearest, you'll be able to start your own salon. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's too much to ask, getting rid of these balls and chains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you guys aren't moving anymore. I couldn't just pick up and leave my best friend, could I? <laughs> well, we don't appreciate boys who ignore our invitations. <gasps> Question of taste. 